In today's video, we are taking the Axial SEX-10 3 Gladiator Edition and doing a whole host of upgrades to the front of the truck with brass portal covers, pan hard brace, and then overdrive portal gears, all being put onto the front of this truck to increase its performance. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Troy. On this channel, you will see us doing all of the RC stuff from the bashing, crawling, drifting, racing, even some FPV drone stuff. But we also do a bunch of how-to videos and product demos and unboxings. And that is exactly what we're looking at today. So this is my friend, the Rich D's SEX-10 III. We're putting just a few things on it because really this thing does perform rather well out of the box. We already have a video that I can share around about seven free mods that you can do to it to make it a little bit better. Uh, we then had a tire test where we did all sorts of tires and we actually are going to be running these Proline Interco TRXUSMT tires. It's a mouthful, it really is. But today we're getting into a couple other things to it. So we are throwing these really heavy brass full inner and outer portal covers from a company called TopCAD and I've actually have no experience with them. This is the first time I'm going to be using one of their products and so we're just giving it a shot. They sure look nice. I also have this really small little bracket here that is a uh, aluminum reinforcing bracket for the pan hard rod and then from Incision uh, we actually have their most aggressive overdrive portal gears to put into the front portals now running overdriving the front of your crawler really does basically two things for you one um, it actually helps increase or decrease your turning radius helps the truck turn shorter because these front tires spinning faster actually help pull the vehicle around that's one major advantage especially for a truck with a wheelbase this long but this truck does actually come with dig so that is kind of a cheat for that right uh, the second thing is it does is when you're going up and over something, having those front tires clawing a little bit faster ends up actually helping to pull uh, your vehicle up and over obstacles. So we're going to try to show and demonstrate that difference here today. Okay, so with a rather simple test, what I've done is I've actually lined the rear wheels of the vehicle up center line with the front wheel of my car. I'm going to simply turn the wheel all the way and give it a small throttle input. And we're going to see how far it turns. Oh my gosh, it wouldn't even make it in the space. All right, that is how far, that is a very large turn radius. Just as an FYI, I have a video, we can put it up here. Did this with a Red Cat Gen 8 in stock, it turned drastically shorter than that. I've marked this with a piece of tape and looking all the way from the tire, all the way over here, the edge where the tire was 62 inches. That is... That's massive. Um, the, the Red Cat Gen 8, I think, was doing it somewhere in the 48s. It's almost like two truck lengths narrower. So, uh, all right, so that is step number one. Now let's do all these mods. Okay, now we've moved everything over from the old setup into the new setup. I would say these brass parts from TopCAD, they are looking very nice. Just this outside portal covers 48 grams. The inside one is 95. So that means between both sides of the truck, we're putting in just shy of 300 grams of weight on the front of this truck. That is a lot. Um, I have the incision gears installed both on both sides. I transferred all the bearings over. I mean, honestly, it's it's really looking nice. Fit and finish is good. As I put this back together, these screws that came with the top CAD um, portal covers and everything, I'll be using those with a bunch of Loctite to make sure that everything stays strong. Uh, 
All right, now that these are on, honestly, they look really good, and I was overall very impressed with the fit and finish as I put them in. One thing I would note, though, is on the, right here on both sides, where this uh, where the rod goes across, that space with the brass right here between there was not large enough. So on both of them, I had to actually take the pair of pliers and just tweak this ever so slightly in order to get that in. Um, and uh, I ended up reusing the stock hardware on both this screw and this one, but especially here, the one they provided was not long enough, so you have to reuse that stock screw. So now we are on to the uh, pan hard mount right there, so we're going to take it off and replace it with this aluminum piece. Comparing both these parts, it looks like the dimensions are going to be exactly the same. Looks like it should fit quite nicely going back in there. And I'll just note, this is not a upgrade when it comes to it's fixing some steering bump steer issue or something like that. It's nothing like that. This is literally just that sometimes people will actually break this plastic end during a crash. And so we're going aluminum just to give it that extra strength. Of course, as we put this back in, the screw that mounts into here with that pan hard rod needs to be Loctited. Just like that, it is mounted up. Looks, again, like I said, looks just about like the factory piece did, except it should be a little bit stronger. Now, one thing we're going to look at while we're here is just how aggressive is this overdrive that we're going to get. And so what you'll see is we're going to do a rotation of the rear tire and we're going to see how much the front tire rotates. So again, if we go, oh my gosh, look at that. So the front's already done a whole one revolution. Here we come around. So about that, it's almost a 50%. Look at that. So rear tire did one revolution, front did one and a, and a quarter. Sorry, one and a quarter revolution. So that's a pretty aggressive overdrive. Okay, time to redo this same test. Turning the wheel with the overdrive. Oh yeah, much closer. Look at that. It's not running all over the thing. We're coming around. So what did we end up saying? We ended up saying that's a two inch wide strip of tape. So we saved two inches. As it turns out, a Red Cat Gen 8 still turns sharper than it. And so does the TRX4. So, <laughs> but it should help a little bit. Let's get it out on the backyard crawler course and see if it makes a difference.
Okay, so that was really quite interesting. So we have all that extra weight on the front. We have that overdrive front gear. We have that pan hard mount on there. Uh, first drive thoughts. I was a little disappointed in the garage with how the change in the turning radius. However, when you got out on the course with like more of a loose surface underneath it, it you could feel it a lot more. You could feel that those front tires pulling the rear around and that was really nice. You know, we finally got up that one rock wall in the front yard. And that was the first time we've been able to do that in this truck, but it still wasn't easy. I mean, that's a truck that regular SCX 10 2 or TRX 4 Gen 8, they all just go right up that. And this truck, I'm guessing that longer wheelbase is just really hurting it in that situation. But we did see other stuff kind of like uh, going up the impossible wall at the very end there where it just, again, it just goes up it. Sometimes it's really great. Sometimes it's not all dependent upon the situation. Overall, I think we've done a couple of really nice things to the truck to help it out. Is it ever going to be a champion winning, you know, competition crawler? It's not going to be. But is it going to be a fun trail truck? I think so. I think it really will be. And so, you know, keep a, keep a lookout for more videos from it. I'm going to do some more research on a couple more things that we might be able to do to it. And we'll go from there. So keep watching. Hey, there's some videos over here. Check them out. We always appreciate the support. Really, really does. Every bit you support the channel is that much more we can give back. So really appreciate everything you guys do. Thank you very much. And we will see you next time. Goodbye.